With two quarterbacks heading into their second year, where do they rank in the division? These are my QB rankings for the AFC East. I'll start with the clear number one, Josh Allen. Not only in the division, but one of the best in the entire league. What can we even say about this guy? He's got it all. Great arm, accuracy, he can run, high football IQ, and he's proven himself in clutch situations. Just look at that playoff game against the Chiefs. Josh Allen is the real deal, and he sits in his own tier in that division. At number two, I have Mac Jones. I think this is a season where Jones takes the big sophomore jump. He didn't have a ton of weapons around him last season, and he played surprisingly well. The movement he's shown in the pocket and the decision-making ability, that gives me a lot of promise. Was he perfect? No, but coming into New England, that's a high-pressure situation. Number three, Tua Tango Bailoa. This feels like a bit of a make or break season for Tua. In full honesty, I'm just not as high on him as a lot of other people are. I know he struggled with injuries, but I just thought we would have seen a bit more from him by now. He can move well in the pocket and he's shown to be accurate, just doesn't seem to have the strongest arm. With the addition of Tyreek Hill though, we're definitely gonna get a better idea of what this guy can do. And at number four, Zach Wilson. Look, it's no secret that he hasn't lived up to his second overall pick expectations, but the team around him, they've been pretty brutal. I am not ready to write Wilson off just yet. I'm actually pretty excited to see how New York looks this season. He's shown flashes, he has incredible arm strength, he has a quick release, but he's also been pretty erratic. We were blessed with more than one, what the hell was that moment from Zach Wilson last season. That being said, I still wouldn't be surprised to see him move up the list in the rankings.